Bang needs knives. I'm Jared with my lovely wife Kara. Hello. And we are doing an open tag that was started by Therapeutic Edge. Great channel, great guy. We are glad to call him a friend and you guys should go check out his channel. So the open tag is if you had to bug out because shit hit the fan, what's the one knife that you would pick to bug out with? Let's do it. All right. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick little view here of where we're at because we are in Colorado. You can walk by. Go ahead. Um, so, yeah, we're sitting here on the edge of this cliff. We thought this would be some great scenery to do a video. Um, also, just wanted to mention for the purposes of this video that we just collectively decided to pick one knife. Um, we know there's two of us, but we wanted to keep it, you know, similar to everybody else's. So, let's get started. In all reality, one person, or she would have had the, one of the other yeah, knives in the pocket. Yeah, one of these, uh, you know, so. Um, and yes, we did take this hike and plan this video, so we brought these extra knives with us on the hike. So, extra weight, yeah, great. Alright, um, first one, I already had it in my hand. I love this knife. This is the perfect size knife for me. Um, it has a perfect size handle. It's very grippy with the G10. It's perfect in most situations. It has that the yeah, reverse tanto, so you do get a little bit of belly here. So if I need to do some roll cuts, like skinning animals and you know working wood or anything i can do that all with this knife it's a very tough knife i've done a lot of work with this knife follow us on instagram you know i've had it for a while and done a lot of work with it but it didn't make it um i'm not really worried too much about the omega springs because i would just lock something in there you know and then make it a fixed blade if i had to but did not make the cut so it's gone next knife uh, this is the CRKT Razel, folding Razel. Alright, this knife is an awesome work knife, but let's be real, it is not an outdoors knife. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking a bug out, you know, even though we are out of Chicago and right now we're in Colorado, but I'm thinking of bugging out, I'm thinking of hitting the woods or getting out of Dodge, basically. Mm -hmm. So, I want more of something that I could use outdoors, and this is just not that knife. So, even though it is extremely tough, and those handles are super comfortable. All right. All right, now we got the mini grip, the sheep's foot style with the hole, obviously. If this would have been the large one, it might have gotten picked, but it's yeah. definitely tough. It's got the steel, full steel liners, um, extremely strong. I love this blade shape. I can do a lot with the blade shape. It's, but it's nice just, how you have those rolls and the roll cut ability and the tip and all that it, stuff. Like, that's very useful it's just a little too small yeah so next up is the, the bug, bug out. out and this you think this is the ultimate bug out knife and <laughs> i have to be real this is the perfect knife to go in a bug out bag it's super light and when you are making a bug out bag you know every, a lot of people make bug out bags right but you don't think about the could be hundreds of miles you might be treading or however many miles that you're going to do where every ounce counts and this is that knife it is super strong and i know other people have made videos batoning with this thing i do not doubt how strong this knife can be but i only say that in like a week long situation or something who knows how long you're going to be bugging out for so i do worry about the strength in the scales and you know, it might last me a week, but eventually, let's be real, eventually, I'm going to break it. So, yeah, I prefer, prefer something with full liners. I think that's the deal breaker for me on that one. But it is a great bug out bag knife. It is great for, I mean, a summer knife, you know, great EDC knife, but did not make the cut. All right, next one. Ace it. Biblio, sorry. No, that's okay. Um, This knife, man, it's, we had problems with it off the start. Now it is fully broken in, and I'll tell you what, this thing's going to last a lifetime. The way it locks up, it locks up so strong, but yet it has an early lockup, and the lock bar is so strong that I can just tell it's always going to lock up strong, and like I said, it'll last forever. And I watched, we watched the video where, I think it was Blade HQ, yeah, it was. took this camping. They put it through its paces. I think they had a camping knife too, I'm not positive, but this thing beat it. It yeah. beat the camping knife. I mean, this thing was doing everything that the camping knife could do. This is an awesome camping knife. And honestly, I mean, I wouldn't mind picking it. I think I really like it because um, of the 
the flat grind because I feel like when you're out in like the wilderness and you're bugging out and all that stuff it's great to have that thin edge but having that flat grind just seems stronger ultimately and that one has just such a strong it just has such a strong build yeah, I feel it like does. it would it last does. it has very good build quality these yeah. are some thick look liners. at that yeah I mean, look at that look how tight it is very not thick. to mention that jumping halfway up the blade yep. stock is yep. great to get like that yeah. or like that to me the deal breaker on my part was just it's a little stocky I think I'd want something longer with a bit more reach on the blade to like think about trying to skin some dinner with that. It right. might be kind of hard. Yeah, it's not going to be very good at skinning and in a bug out situation you should probably have a knife that could skin. And yeah, it it almost made the cut and you know I don't mind bugging out with this knife so I mean any of these knives. Okay, the next one you wouldn't think of as a good bug out knife. You really wouldn't. But this has an incredible let me show you how thick this blade is for prying abilities if you can get it right there look how thick that tip is this tip will yeah, never break oh i could goodness. probably lift a car with this with this blade stock super thick it gets incredibly sharp it's m390 and it has the the front edge which is the japanese tanto so i can do the roll cuts i can use the long flat edge i have here um, it's super comfortable in the hand. It's the build quality is super strong. Great lockup, and I mean this thing is just it. It feels so strong. Like I just feel like I can pry things open, do lots of stuff. When it comes to prying with it, this knife being M390, it's gonna be hard to sharpen in the field. It is thick behind the edge. Um, even though that's great for the prying abilities and the carving and everything. It's just not going to be easy to sharpen out in the field. I would need diamond, um, you know, like I would need diamond plates and I would need st good stuff to sharpen it with, which isn't a big deal. You can bring a diamond um, rod with you and stuff like that, but it's more in your bag then. It didn't make it. So even though this thing would last a lifetime in the field, so what did make it? Ooh. And I, there's a lot, there's a few reasons why, and you guys got to hear me out because there's a couple reasons why it would be bad, but there's some good reasons. Well, okay. this is the Buck Smart. Buck Marksman. Buck Marksman. Okay, so it's got 154 cm steel. It'd be super easy to sharpen in the field. Very thin behind the edge. I mean, it is super thin. And I actually brought a little something here. I mean, this thing can just do so much. I'm not going to do too much here, but it's super sharp. And I can put an edge on this knife so quick. Very quick. Not to mention 154 cm is kind of that perfect like mid-range yeah of easy to sharpen but long lasting yeah for sure it also um has the the front of oops sorry front of the edge where i can do roll cuts really yeah. easily so if i need to skin or anything like that um it has this back lock the where there's two Strap bolts in here back lock deadlock right uh yeah i think it's called the hawk deadlock yeah the hawk deadlock so it has this pin right here coming through and the two bolts hanging on to this strap, which makes an incredibly strong lock. I have not seen. Oh, that's what it's called. The strong locking system, right? Isn't that no, them? No, deadlock. Oh, I so, thought it was also called SLS or something. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Sorry. Anyways, with the Boss Heat Treat from Buck and, oh, I'm sorry, I'm moving around a little bit, trying to be able to see myself in the camera. It has um, a very strong lock mechanism. I haven't seen how strong it can actually be, but we are going to test it out while we are out here. And I already know it's very strong. And now this is one of the per perks to it, is that I can tighten this lock. So if it ever gets, say, a little loose from, you know, like a little, I guess you could say lock rock, I can easily tighten it. Now I can also tighten this thing all the way down and make it basically a fixed blade. I can tighten it all the way up to where there is I will not be able to unlock it. And so I can turn this pocket knife into a fixed blade. This grip is very comfortable. You see the jimping. That doesn't bother you whatsoever. The nice long blade shape, nice roll cuts, thin behind the edge, very easy to sharpen, and I can turn it into a fixed blade. And, I mean, that just makes it where it beats all the rest of them out. I mean, it does have aluminum handles. I don't have to worry about the handles rusting or anything like that. Um, it does have the stainless steel back lock. So, you know, I would try to keep it clean. Um, most knives do have, not all, but 
a lot of knives do have some sort of stainless steel on them, you know, besides the blade, but this one is relatively stainless altogether, and I think I keep it. It does have ball bearings, so I'd like to keep it clean, but if I make it a fixed blade, don't have to worry about them bearings. And I can easily clean these bearings out. I'm not positive. I should have looked it up. Sorry, you guys, if they're stainless steel or ceramic. If they are ceramic, they're self-lubricating. I should have double check that i forget there's so many knives anyways this is what made the cut and i think it worked great out in the field we're going to put it through this test while we're here in colorado but for now this is what we picked and, but you know what though ask me next week the same question i'll probably have a completely different answer <laughs> so there you guys go all right thanks for watching guys